What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have something very special. No, it's not, it's not just very special. Extremely They're special. They're all special. This is hyper special. All the videos are special to us. <laughs> this is hyper special. You guys are not going to believe this. I didn't believe it when it happened, but who's, check it out. Who's that? Missile? Missile? Bates. <laughs> Do you see? Who's, who's that? What's it say right there? It says Burley. Burley's Candy. We have our own freaking color with Missile Baits. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is huge shout out and thank you to Monster Bass, especially Rick over there, for hooking up this opportunity. Uh, and Missile Baits ain't no small Dude, fish in the pond, it's right? Never like, in my wildest dreams. And maybe like, my wildest. Maybe one of the wildest, but certainly not <laughs> in my normal dreams that I have ever imagined that yeah. we would have our name. On a on a bait with like a major bait manufacturer, one that we yeah. use all the time and makes amazing baits too. So this is like this being one of our favorite ones. Hyper special. Yeah, hyper special. Look, it made it to the wall. It's gonna well, stay on the wall and forever. Then, and then we we weren't the only ones. There are some other folks, some amazing content creators uh, yeah. who got to do the the same thing. And that would be that would be Who's including Debo Deba 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 Debo's fishing. One of our favorite people in the entire planet Earth. Um, Stellar human being. He, we've got Debo Surprise. Uh, we'll show you that one in a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go up close on these things. We'll show you guys uh, in a second. Here's the deal. With this video, we wanted to do a technique-specific video, and we're going to talk about our five favorite alternative rigging options for this, because we know the obvious would be like, you're going to Texas rig this. Carolina. You probably Carolina rig this thing. But we want to show you some good alternatives, things that we're excited about, because yeah. we're going to fish the heck out of this thing. I mean, how many did we get? We got like 15, 20 bags. We got a lot of them. You but know what we should do with some extra ones? That's what I was going to say. You know, what do we, we think? I think that these five bags should yeah. go to you guys. Because let's be honest, we would not be able to do any of this at all. Our names would not be on these bags without yeah. your guys' support. So, it's true. Um, in lieu of doing it and getting all the bots with the comments here, where we love interacting with you guys is in our live podcast. We yeah. live stream every single Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And while I'm mentioning that, if you haven't already, smash the like button, ring the notification bell, and please subscribe to the channel. Again, it helps set a ton, and yeah. maybe you'll get a shot at some of these baits. Uh, what we're going to do is for the next five weeks, the next five weeks, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, come join the show. Every single week, we do a giveaway. We give away a $25 gift card to Monster Bass. Uh, this place. Yeah, those that guys. That helps with this thing. That helps with this thing. <laughs> so for the next five weeks, we're going to give away a bag of these. Uh, they are limited edition. The only bait that comes in this color is the Baby D-Bomb from Missile Baits, and it is a limited run. You're not yep. going to be able to go get it everywhere all of the time. So when they're gone, they're gone. And we don't want you guys to miss out, and we would love to give some of them away to you. So please, join our live yep. streams Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. For the next five weeks, we'll give away a bag of these, along with a $25 gift card to Monster Bass like we always do. All right, so first of all, I wanted to call this out. Uh, the name is Burley's Candy. and <laughs> we, look, have to, we have to address this. Look, I, I feel the need to address this. We didn't choose the name. Uh, it, it came about because it's kind of a combination between like your you see for yourself it's like a summer craw kind of pattern so you get that chartreuse hint on the back half right heavy green pumpkin on the front and then look at all the flake in there so the candy part is because you get that green and there's hints of purple in here it's very subtle but there's green and purple and then we've got red and copper freaking flake you guys know how much we love copper flake if you guys are in the midwest copper flake is money the juice it's amazing. Like the fish just can't get enough of it. But look at that. So we've got lots of flashy colors in there on just like a basic kind of like summer craw pattern. You also know that chartreuse yeah. is the freaking juice. So this is like, this is a color for us that I, I would be proud of having my name on and would throw a million times. Now, Burley's Candy sounds like a <laughs> kind of a, a weird name. So what I made up in my head <laughs> is like, it sounds like a weird, it sounds like a weird name. <laughs> What I made up in my head is this tail, right? So we roll up in our rickety van. No, we said it's gonna be the uh, the Home Alone, the Home Alone, is it two? No, it's one. Yeah. The Home Alone one uh, GMC van, the blue GMC van. And it's Wait, gonna, the belt. Which one are you? Am I Marv? Who's... Well, you're taller, I, so yeah. I can be hairy. I'm gonna get you're myself hairy, set on fire. Yep. You're gonna step on broken Christmas lights. We're both gonna Done. get smacked with paint cans. We're both gonna die multiple <laughs> times, but still be alive. But on the side of our rickety van, it just says, free bass baits and like we abduct fishermen and women <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's a fisherman catcher that's what they say about baits like this valid. there you go so it's a valid name 
<laughs> but it is uh, the one thing I want to call out though this color scheme the one what we were going for We were going for a bait that's gonna be usable in a lot of different ways We didn't yeah. want this to be like oh, I'm only yep. gonna grab this bait like for X Y and Z So this profile will show you five different ways to fish it, but the color is it's, it's like kind of, of more than five there's Yeah, kind of, technically we jammed them. We just got a few combos. <laughs> it's five. It's yep. more like eight But sincerely we wanted something <laughs> that's gonna be fishable at all times So yeah. the green pumpkin chartreuse right the nice thing about green pumpkin chartreuse green pumpkin You can use it at any time. I mean period the yep. end. There's not a bad day But because it's a darker profile, it's gonna be pretty darn successful in dark water But with a chartreuse underneath it's also gonna be really successful in clear water and because of the candy and the Burley's candy all those different color flex um, This thing is actually gonna crush in crystal clear water you're just getting that extra little pop and coming from two people who how often do we get to fish either crystal clear or even just maybe slightly muddy water all of the time 110 this, yeah, this is what we're looking yeah. for um, it's gonna absolutely hammer smallmouth and when you put it on some of these uh, really unique rigging styles that we're gonna show you it's gonna crush everything I'm just we're super excited about it what rigging styles you ask great question we've got Let's five get maybe plus four of them let's we'll start with this first one so this first one comes in a uh, nice finesse football jig. So this is a Super K football jig and they call it the lion's mane. And it has like the perfect matching color. So check this out. You got the green pumpkin head. You've got the chartreuse and browns and green pumpkins in the skirt. And then what I did was I trimmed the baby D-bomb. Just cut it down. And that's because this comes with a super short shank hook. Now, this is something Paul disagrees with me on, but I don't care what he says. So I trimmed it <laughs> to make it fit better for me. And then I actually modded the jig as well. So you can do stuff like this. Trim the skirt to make sure the claws were sticking out past that. I like that. And then I also trimmed the brush guard. Look at look at how terrible a job I did. You probably that's want a, better shears. That's, than a, this. that's a 90s, that's a 90, uh, 1993 circa mom bowl cut. Job. This is a mom bowl. <laughs> I gave my jig a mom bowl cut. Absolute but back job. The brush guard extends. Typically, when you first get this from Super K, the brush guard's kind of long because of the shorter shank hook. Cut it this way, it just works better for like hookups. So, yeah, I mean, I love this. I would throw this jig 10 out of 10, would throw it all the time. Yeah, and it's crazy. We actually, <clears throat> we had a couple other ones where we had to do some combining because we wanted to yeah. jam as many as possible, but we wanted the convenient number be a of top five. five. <laughs> so what we did was, I, I will say this, um, once I saw that jig, Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mentioned to Jeff, I was like, dude, we have to put a jig in here. And then when we saw that color, the combination was just perfect silly combo. perfect. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to Super K Jigs. And we do have a code with them, Burley15. Go ahead and save yourself some cash and go place an order with Super K. They're awesome people. They make great mm -hmm. jigs. I think like well over half of the jigs you see in any video that we've ever done, Super K. I have an entire box of mostly Super K. <laughs> a lot of Super K in here. But yeah, so B-U-R-L-Y-1. Five. You yep. get fifteen percent off. Check that out. And that's some like that's a perfect river uh, option. The shorter shank means you get hung up a lot less, and you got the football head, so you're just like knocking around in the river. The lion's mane is my favorite jig I that they wait. make. After fishing like probably three quarters of what's on the mm -hmm. site, the lion's mane is still my favorite uh, river magic. It's just Stay tuned. Oh, We're God. probably going to do a full video feature. On yeah. It. Number two. This is. <sighs> It's probably obvious, but maybe Why it's not Why would it be obvious, you. Paul? What it's obvious, but I don't know. We call ourselves the Ned... <laughs> <laughs> we call ourselves the Ned Rigner is for a reason. So we're going to yep. recommend that you put this on a Ned head. Now, I want to say this. You'll notice this is not an open face Ned. This is an EWG Ned. With a larger profile like this, you can certainly get away with... And by larger, Ned larger. But yep. with a little bit fatter body, you can get away with less. But I'm going to say this right now. My go-to now is the EWG. Now, yeah. this jig specifically was made for us by Jason Emery, a subscriber. He makes some really cool custom jigs. Thanks, dude. Dude, thank you so much. I think he sent some to some other folks as well, like Fishing with Becca. So, and I, it's positively uh, received from all so far. This color right here, though, I want to I want to make sure that you can see it. Uh, it's hard, it's subtle, but this is actually like a green fleck on green pumpkin, and this is a one aught EWG hook. The one aught size or size one, either one, uh, is Finesse. just the finesse hook is perfect for this baby size, um, mm. and it is just, I mean, that's the juice. Now you can get other styles of Ned head that are out there. So Wu Tungsten makes yep. one, and you can get them in brown and green pumpkin. But the call out is see if you can match the bait to your jig head. A really cool way. And then obviously you could put a purple on here, put chartreuse mm -hmm. on here to get a little pop as well. But yeah. the Ned head. Now we did combine, so it's not just the Ned. We had to we had to stuff a couple into number two. So here's another option. This one we actually picked up from Epic Eric. And by picked up, I mean I stole it all from him. We uh, 
force fed him Bud Light. <laughs> You're like, here's a couple of Bud Lights and I'll give us some hooks. <laughs> no, seriously, he like went into his tackle box and like dumped it on the table when we were fishing the St. Lawrence. So when we were all at the house, like one night, uh, we we're all just hanging out and he just busts out all his stuff. He's like, oh yeah, just take this. If you're not aware of Epic Eric, he does run yeah. Bass Lab, and it is just, he has some, un, like, the, the amount of detail and knowledge that he holds is pretty incredible, he, yeah. and his crankbait selection, honestly, it's it's unmatched, it's insane. Dude's got uh, an entire museum, we, ca- a we fishing got, tackle the, the, museum. the crankbait king. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So check this one out. So we got a quarter ounce Ned head that actually has a blade, a little willow blade attached to it, which is super cool. P.S. This isn't our color. This is Debo Surprise. Look at that thing. I, I think of it as like a Twilight or a Midnight Special. It's got the blue and purple flake. You're kind of barely seeing hints of that in there. And it's like a somewhat, you know, mostly opaque black here. It's almost a smoke, which is cool. You can kind of see it through the little claws down there at the bottom. So. I'm digging it. Pairing it up with this black is oh. awesome. And then this is a Ned that is really meant to be swum. Swam it is. Swam did it. Swummed. Swimmed. <laughs> Plural for swim. We're going with swam. Swammed. <laughs> But if, you were, if you're not aware of the Midwest Ooh. Finesse Jig, the Ned Rig originally, they actually uh, were intended to be swimmed and swam and swammed. swum. Swimmed. And so uh, this is a really unique take on it. You get the bladed jig on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this, uh, e- even though you kind of are probably thinking this as like a little flipping bait, this is a great profile yep. uh, for swimming that Ned head. So that's why number two is the Ned. Number three, it sure looks like it's going to be weightless EWG, but it's not. We're gonna go ahead and call it the free rig. So if you haven't seen the free rig, what it is is before you tie your hook onto your line, go ahead and put a free moving um, weight on there. In this case, I have got a drop shot weight, but you'll notice it doesn't pinch down on the line. You can see right there, it's an open eyelet so that this weight is able to move back and forth. Now there's a couple different weights. This isn't the only one. I prefer this type of weight, the drop shot weight. It's pretty for, much my go-to for, for all times, but. It's great in grass or, or moderate grass cover. Now this version, the teardrop is fantastic for like rock area. You're gonna get hung up a little less. So, mm-hmm. but it's, it's gonna get up hung up a little more in yeah. grass. So. But it doesn't matter. The concept is you put this um, you put this on your line so it can move freely. Then you tie your bait on the hook that you're going to use for your bait. You can use an EWG. You can use an offset. I do recommend using a uh, weedless presentation type hook. So EWG. EWG is generally is the go-to. probably the go-to, yeah. but an offset is going to work just great. Now, what makes this uh, rig so useful? What's nice is that this one is so flexible. The fr- I did a whole video on this, so if you want to watch it more, um, I think it was the Slick Bait Co. unboxing slash tips and tricks for free rig video from a couple weeks ago. But what makes this so useful is if you keep your line nice and taut, the weight's going to stick closer to the bait, and it's going to be almost like a weightless Texas, right? So if you keep a nice tight line, um, you're going to feel everything, and the bait's going to be a little bit closer to the bottom. Now, if you keep a little more slack in your line, and you vary your retrieve speed by like lift and drop and that sort of thing, um, your weight's going to look, your presentation's going to look more like this, and it's going to be more like a Carolina rig. It's gonna work at all times. It can work at a lot of different weights in almost any situation. I think this is probably the one of the most flexible yeah. options that you have. Um, but it's yeah, one we're gonna throw a lot. This, this is year. one. Of, this is gonna be a big one for us this year, and I think it's gonna be great with a, a medium-sized profile like this. So going back to a little bit of a moving bait, another option that we have here is this wobblehead. Now this one specifically is from Headbanger Lures, and it's called the Rocker Head. And it even comes in this really nice like green pumpkin pattern. So we got some greens and browns in there, which will of course pair up really well with this. I mean, again, you're just kind of like matching that presentation. I'd prefer if this had the option for a smaller, like a three-aught at most, or like a two-aught hook on here. So this is a four-aught. Which is fine. I mean, we can pull it off. It's a baby D-bomb, though. So, I mean, ideally, this would be set up for, like, the regular D-bomb. Unfortunately, does that come in our color, Paul? It does not. So, screw that stuff. We're, we're cool, not doing but we're that. not that cool. Yeah, we're not. We, we, get, we get one thing. I'll take it. I'll take it all day. Yeah. So, this thing's kind of cool. I mean, it's a moving bait, and this thing is going to catch water. As you can see, it's kind of, like, scooped there. I've featured it on videos in the past, but, you know, just to, to lay it out there, what this does is just move back and forth. And that's going to cause that hook to swing with your bait there, and you're going to get a ton of this action going on behind that. Uh, fish love this thing. I love fishing it. It's a lot of fun. Fish this thing around cover and uh, knock into stuff if you can. It's freaking awesome. I think it gives you a moving bait option for a bait that most people aren't thinking of as a moving bait. And that's really what that yeah. like wobblehead does really well. The amount of action you get is 
it's kind of like startling when you first yeah. see it. It's a little bit startling. It's awesome. It's really cool. Yeah, it's literally just like wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's sweet. So all right, next up, number five. Number we got another five. combo. So we got two here for you. So there's the Jika rig. If you guys haven't fished a Jika rig before, these things are super cool. Uh, we do have another Diva special. Yep. Right here. Matching that black weight. Yeah. So all you do with the Jika rig, you get very specific weights. They got like what looks like a little snap ring. It actually just kind of like swivels onto the eye of your hook. And you're getting this like small profile, lightweight. It's one eighth ounce. And you can get obviously different weights too. But I like this for like a smaller profile, slow fall on this mm -hmm. thing. And you can toss it up into heavy cover because it's weedless. Yep. So, oh, and it's going to hug the bottom, but it's yeah. not going to be on the bottom. So Just you could, off. You could take advantage of the, it's probably going to sit somewhat like this. So you could take advantage of those little claws, yep. any of the buoyancy in that plastic, and then any, any rod twitch movement whatsoever. It causes instant movement in the hook because they are connected. Yep. Really, really cool presentation. Love it. Uh, your next option would be if you want to go a little bit heavier, a little bigger profile, we'd recommend the Tokyo rig. So a nice little mod that I made to this thing, you guys, check this out. I got my monster bass tungsten weight there. I threw a flipping bead on it. What does that do, Paul? It's gonna make a little extra sound. It makes some noise. So this is like a more aggressive presentation. I like the Jika if I wanna get like subtly up into the cover. Mm -hmm. And then I would throw this if I'm like punching slightly heavier cover or if I want to really piss some fish off, I can make that noise right there. Love doing that. Also, I don't know about you guys, we're, we're juries yeah. out on this. So I got a question for you in the comments. On your Tokyo rigs, do you bend your wire like that so that the weight sits on top closing the loop? Or do you bend your wire more open so it sits over the weight? Personal opinion, I've used these things a lot. I notice that when the wire comes up over the side of the weight, I get hung up more. Like this is just dragging and catching all the cover. And then when I rig it like this, I don't get hung up at all. So yeah, I've seen my preference. I've seen people right angle it, and I'm definitely not in that camp. I am in the oh, just straight out the side. Yeah, yeah. I've, well, I've seen a lot of people do that because you can get away with bending just a very tiny little bit. Right, you don't have to bend a lot, but I get right, it. It's not coming off. But I'm not in that camp. I'm in the bending over camp. But I do like this. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever. So I'm proud. I might even move that direction. Yeah. Um, the one thing I will say is you can get away with a little bit heavier weight, like Jeff was saying. That also means you can cast a heck of a lot farther. It's I a do half ounce. I do recommend using braid. And if you use um, if you use a leader, yep. a relatively short leader, um, but you can get away with using braid a lot of times, and that's going to mean by using braid, you if you cast farther, you're going to feel that bite maybe a hair quicker than you would if you yep. use like a mono or maybe even a floral. All right, there you go. That's five plus a bunch of bonuses uh, ways that we would rig this <laughs> Bonuses. Thing. Yeah, I mean the baby D bomb and the regular D bomb are fantastic baits. We love them. I've been fishing the D bomb for a long time. Baby D bombs fairly new uh and now we got our own gosh dang color in man it. and uh, you could get one if you wanted one potentially come to our lives we'll be running a giveaway it's a random draw to anybody that is in chat at the end of the show mm -hmm. uh it's a it's a fun show we have a blast every single i look yeah. forward to it every single week it's so much fun so thursdays 8 p.m eastern be there you got your chance at that and i don't know about you paul like should we retire now is this like this is it this is peak. <laughs> we're gonna call it we peaked <laughs> this is our peak so you know uh, we, this was fun. We had a good time. We fun. had a good run in fishing. So what's our next industry? We've we're done not, fitness. We're not doing done that fishing. I'm done with. I'm not going backwards. Not going I sold that. my no, gym. No, no. We're that's done all, with fitness. We're all, that's over. Fishing's done now. This yeah, we're it. done with this. Literally, we started this channel three years ago, and we were like, as soon as we is have it three a name, years? Oh, you're wait, is it three? We're two and a half years in. We got our name on a bait, so that's good enough. We're <laughs> yeah. done. We move uh, on to gaming. You guys, have I been think great. we go to gaming now. Gaming, I'm in. So yeah. follow our Twitch channel. <laughs> Which it exists. <laughs> it's called Burly Fishing right now. We're gonna have to change that, and uh, we're on, we're strictly only gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2 online <laughs> open mods. World, open world mods. Open world else. mods. <laughs> we're gonna use giant hand cannons, like all the cheap. We're gonna stack our horses up. If uh, you're not climbing a mountain with a train, what are you even doing? <laughs> what are you doing? So follow us over there. I'm just kidding. We love you guys. Obviously, we're going to stay in fishing. I'm not kidding. Go follow us on Twitch. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Go follow us on Twitch. Maybe we'll start playing games. But uh, no, we, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Like, your support has made this yeah. opportunity possible. Yes. Of course, thanks goes to Missile Baits and Monster Bass. Thank you, Rick, for hooking us up with this opportunity. We're one of a few creators that got the chance to do this. Yeah. And I got to say, our color is the best color. <laughs> Hands down, no questions <laughs> Good asked. job, everybody else, kind of. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Good job. All right, I'm just kidding. I love all those guys. Yeah.
Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to come to our next five lives at the very least so that you have a chance to win these baits as well as $25 gift card to monsterbass.com. Uh, yeah. Like. Like, subscribe. Subscribe. Notification bell. Go ahead and ring it. And uh, I'll go ahead and close this out. Have a good night. All. I already retired. <laughs> <laughs>